This right here is the future that I've always wanted. However, it's definitely still a work in progress. This right here is the Lim Inc. Portable Tri Screen for Laptops, specifically the S19 model. What this is, as you can tell, is a dual monitor addition to your single laptop screen. And I have been using it for just about a week. So in this video, what we're gonna do is talk about some of the specific specifications of this guy, talk about the setup and my overall experience using it. Now, one thing that is an overall good experience is the sponsor of today's video. This video is sponsored by Linode. Use the link down below for a $100 60-day credit. It's really easy to set up a wide variety of Linux distributions, including Arch, Ubuntu, CentOS, and many others. And they have a bunch of one-click installers to get services up and running with ease, such as Nextcloud, Minecraft Game Server, much more. So before we talk about my opinions and actually using it, we need to talk about what came in this box. Overall, the unboxing is a pretty decent experience. Really, the only thing in here was this thing folded up as well as a bunch of different cords and the manual. I'm gonna get into all the cords in just a sec. What I'm gonna do real quick is disassemble this and kind of show you guys how it actually folds up here. So all we do is unplug these, slide this out a bit, lift, and here we are. You can see it is a rather large unit. This right here in the middle stretches out so it can support a laptop 14 to 17 inches. Now this doesn't fold how you would expect. I'd expect it both to close like that, but this one you go ahead and fold forward. This one you have to fold backwards, giving you this nice little compact unit here. One of the things that did come in the box is this handy little carrying case. So you can just go ahead and pop it in there. And it is about as heavy as a laptop. I believe it is three pounds, same size as a laptop. So when it comes to portability, it's about the same as carrying two laptops instead of one. Now, when it comes to actually installing it onto the laptop you intend on using, just as you'd fold it, you'd unfold it. And right here, we're gonna have a little hard bracket and this one kind of moves around a little bit. You can pull it out to better fit the size of your screen. But essentially all you do, you pull this out and you push it back in and then there you go. It is now installed. Now there's a little kickstand on the back, which is definitely helpful. And it's not very good to use it without it because then all of those three pounds are actually on the hinges of your laptop screen, which is not good. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this kickstand out and it actually has a little adjustable thing so it can actually be the right height. And there we go, now it's kickstand and ready to go. Now when it comes to the actual power and video, there are a variety of options. In the box, we do have two mini HDMI to HDMI cables. This is gonna be for video only. We have two USB-C to USB-A cables, which is going to be for power only. And your best bet is if you have a computer that supports running video and power through a single USB-C, I think it's either a Thunder Basically, there's a little chart they sent me so you can figure out if your laptop is compatible with this. Luckily, this laptop is, so then all I need to do is plug in both of these USB-Cs here, log in, and then we are going to be rocking and rolling. I do wish there's a way to get both displays through one cord, but now on this actual display, we're gonna have two of those USB-Cs as well as that mini HDMI. And probably the most important thing other than just general usability is gonna be the specifications of the panels themselves. Both of these are 14 inches at 1080p. They're IPS displays with a rather impressive viewing angle. Additionally, you're going to get 60 Hertz as your refresh rate and a peak brightness of 300 nits. And when it comes to the actual colors on these things, they are good, they're very accurate, but compared to the screen next to it that I have here, it just, the colors look a little kind of dull and washed out. Now, of course, each specific monitor has its very own settings menu. So if you hit this button right here, it will open it up and you have up and down and select and all that typical stuff that you'd expect. I found that the best setting that we could pick is under the ECO setting. If you change that to movie mode, it looks really good. It's a lot closer to the display that I have these connected to. But of course you have all your typical options such as brightness, contrast, sharpness. You can change the aspect ratio, which is kind of silly. You have your color temp, so you have specific controls over the green, blues, and reds. You have very specific OSD settings that are available to you. And there is HDR mode. You could either set it to auto, which seems to disable it. You can disable it yourself. 
or you can change it to 2084 and actually turning on HDR on these things kind of, it just kind of looks oversaturated to me. So I disable it and go on about my day. <laughs> and when you do have HDR enabled, it kind of disables some of the other settings. Everything on the brightness panel is disabled, but you do have some color temp control so you could kind of play with the settings and fix that but I think it looks good with that disabled. But I mean like moving windows back and forth, you can see there's absolutely no issues. Both of these panels work exactly how you'd expect a monitor to actually work. And so what do I think of this overall? First of all, the general appearance. It feels like it's like something from a future, but the aesthetics of it is something from like 2010. These bezels are some thick boy bezels. Like down here, there is a lot of room that I feel like could have been used for some more display. If they would have filled that out, made it a 16 by 10 instead of 16 by nine, that would have been remarkable. And don't get the gray one. I mean, if your laptop's actually silver, it will look good. But putting this gray thing on this black laptop looks a little jankety, especially on these folding mechanisms. It's more, it's not necessarily bezel, but it looks like a bezel. So the overall design and all that isn't perfect, but for what it is and kind of what they would actually be able to do to make this thing look good, that they did a pretty good job. When you are using the kickstand, it's very sturdy. There's hardly any wiggle. Get rid of that kickstand and it's gonna be flopping all over the place. And actually picking it up here, this isn't something you'd want to do. Ah, and that is why. But for the most part, these panels are pretty thin and they have the IO and everything that you're going to need. If you're somebody who works on the road and is constantly moving around all the time, let's say you work in coffee shops or you have to haul your computer in and out of some like co-working environment, this is something I would definitely purchase. Using it in my office here where I already have some monitors set up seems kind of silly. And another little gripe I have, which there's not really much you could do about it with how it's mounted. With the, with the laptop screen a little back, when it folds out, they're kind of at a funky angle where if you're looking at the main screen head on, it's kind of shifted and diagonal a bit. I don't see how you would make a solution to that, but that's just one thing I noticed. And of course, for compatibility sakes, this is Fedora, it works completely fine on Linux. Being that it works fine on Linux, it's going to work fine on just about everything else. I mean, it's definitely something to use if you want somebody like walk up to you and start talking to you, ask you what it is. Because if you use this in a Starbucks, somebody's eventually going to be like, so with all that, ugh, what do you think of this? <laughs> is this something that you could see being usable and actually help you with your day-to-day -day work? Or is this merely a gimmick with an idea that is simply not ready to market? Let me know in the comments down below. And like always, I'll have everything that we mentioned linked down below. They didn't sponsor this video or anything, but there is a coupon code that they gave me for some reason if you're interested in actually purchasing this thing. But with that, do make sure you subscribe. If you like these monitor type videos, I have a video on this guy coming out soon. This is a uh, one of the Espresso displays. I mean, look how thin that is. And it's touch screen has a stand, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that. And with all of that, I do hope you have an absolutely beautiful day and goodbye.